Welcome, everyone, to the Pantheon. I'm your host, Ray. And I'm Evie. And today, what are we looking at, Ev? John Wick. The first one. Um, the first one. Uh, for me, I have never seen it. This is the first time I'm watching it. I, I went into this. Uh, I first saw John Wick, the second one, and then the third one. And I'm like, this series is awesome. I love this world building. I just, because I'm like, what is up with these coins? Like, I didn't, I'm thinking, you know, and I never yeah. saw the, I, I, I saw the first one just now, like this week. So, okay. So to see where this comes from or, or potentially is birthed from uh, is eye opening. So, uh, so lead us through, like, lead us through this. John Wick was a gangster and apparently he did something and and a gang uh somebody uh killed his dog stole his car so so um john wick wanted um uh revenge that's it um so he just wanted uh um revenge what did you think of it well i when i okay when i knew about this film i remember the slogan and the slogan was uh, don't set him off because it's the wick. So I think, okay, so what, what does that mean? And then seeing this film, unlike its sequels, uh, which gave, because the first one gives it away. The first one gave up, gives, gives away who this guy is at the end. So for three quarter, three quarters, yes, for three quarters of this film, he is very, he doesn't do much. He doesn't say much. No, he doesn't say much in any, in, in any of the other films too. Like you don't know, what kind of a threat he is. They, they, and the thing is, they keep saying, like, you know, what he, in, in a mysterious way, he creates, he gives the, the, the moth, this particular mafia gang, the empire that they, that they are now, where, how they stand, like he built a foundation to which they stand on. And he alone did this, um, on, you know, with his own two hands. But that's what it's portrayed to us. And uh, and then of course in the and in the second and third movies it's echoed, echoed loudly in the second and third movie. And I guess because he's in the first three quarters of this movie, uh, we don't know how much of a threat he is. I mean that's what makes this movie so great is that uh, people keep saying it, but we don't see it. And then, and and the fact that he doesn't talk much and we don't know the motivations behind him, and they're asking him, are are you are you coming back into the fold, John? Um, and he's not, he's still, he's, he hasn't given an answer about it. And even this says that in, in a big speech he does uh, near the, the climax, you know, um, it's, it's a slow burn. And, and it, it's funny because the name is Wick. So it's a slow burn, <laughs> literally, uh, for this character. So I thought this was just one of those, really, it's just an extraordinary thing. Because you make fun of Keanu because of his acting abilities. It's kind of slow. But they use that, you know, saying well on the on the phone like there's a scene where he asks where the where, um the, the the mob boss the, the head boss talks to wick on the phone and and keanu or john isn't saying a single word and then he hangs up and then he asks in his in his, his singularity was saying what did he say and he goes he said enough you know like the parts were they were people would laugh or scoff at keanu reeves for, for his performance they make him seem like a megastar in this movie. They really focus, they really bring out the attributes of this character. You know, I mean, Keanu, in a movie, there's a movie he did called Street Kings where Keanu really acted, like really performed. Uh, when he did a movie um, with, uh, uh, I forget the name of the movie, it's where he's these two girls, they're, they're like psychotic, the killers. I forgot the name of the movie. movie. And Anna de Amas and um, um, it's it's like a, almost like a funny games where it's like a like a home invasion movie. And, uh, his performance in that was amazing. It, it, the name escapes me, but anyways, like his performance in this and this train, like you know from the legendary stories of his training, learning to do what he's doing in this movie is legitimate. He worked with real like SAS trained field operatives he worked with real like um swat he worked with real people who worked with guns and knives the the hand-to-hand -hand combat the, the, the jujitsu it was all legitimate everything you see was real and it and and seeing going into this from the second film and then seeing it now it's it's um the second and third film 
it's exponentially better than the, in my opinion, than, than each movie gets better and better in its own way, you know, because it, it's world building. Um, how were you, how did, how were how did you take that? Or is that how you look at the movie too, or no? Um, well, I saw it as, as, as a guy who, who, who was wrong, mm-hmm. um, uh, uh, coming from like the mafia, um, and what he did was wrong, I think, but I can understand why he did it. It's all about morals too, you know? Um, yeah, if somebody did that, like to me, I'm sure I'd be upset. Mm-hmm. And maybe I might do that. I don't know. But yeah, it's, um, it's, yeah, it could go either way. But it was a really good movie. You know, lots of action and, and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a, it was a um, good movie. Yeah, but I don't know what I would do in that case. I think the writing in here is phenomenal. And I think the, it, it, what kicked it off was the tattoos. Like when the, the, the dialogue kicks in, when you see his tattoos on his back saying fortune f- uh, favors, it's in Latin, right? Uh, and then that's when you get um, the, 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 the mob boss talking about like Baba Yaga and what he did, the narration of it. And then he's a man of focus. He's a man of discipline. You know, he's the man you sent in to kill the boogeyman. And, and then he's got the sledgehammer. He's breaking the, 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 the flooring down. And, and it's that build. It's that build up. Because it's that, it's that action. But it's a, it's a narrative that builds up. And I think that's what sells me in this, in this, in this movie. Because this movie is able to build. Uh, it's, it's first-time directors, uh, Chad Sajewski and David Leach. Leach was the producer for this. Sajewski, who, did, who was directed Deadpool, Atomic Blonde. And a slew of great action films. Uh, he's also the uh, uh, advisor for stunts, uh, special effects stunts uh, for the, the police sequence in Birds of Prey. Um, so, like, he is, and they were stuntmen. I mean, they worked on, they worked together. They worked on oh, the God. Civil War fight sequences. So, and, and this was their first. This was their big baby, and Keanu brought them on to work with because he's worked with them on the Matrix. So they were stuntmen in, on the Matrix. So. They knew um, how to make it work, and it was more practical sound effects. Like him getting hit by a car was just crazy bananas, you know. It's just mm-hmm. how that works. Yeah, um, but I think for me, I just think this like it's a it for any other film that this it would be a disconnect, and for some reason they they understand Keanu, and they understand this character, and they understand this world, and it, and, and, it, and in any other hand, any one of others hands this would be a colossal failure but watching this movie um it just works and it works on such a level such a high level that i just um i'm giving it more praise than it should but and i'm thinking i'm also i'm looking at this in retrospect from seeing two and three first and then now looking at this one um this one is a very grounded and very 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 subdued story and a very subdued character and it's done purposely because we don't know his ability until near the third act and so it's played to Keanu being Keanu because he doesn't talk much he can't really deliver too well that was that would be the mentality right because he because he's the guy from Bill and Ted's you know he's the kid he's a guy from the Neo from Neo saying whoa so you give him the bet we give him the benefit of the doubt or, or the or the doubt and then he it, it, it subverts your expectations, and and that's how I think it really it really sparked it. Because I remember when I when I asked you to, when I again I never saw this movie before, and I, I said to you uh, like how was the movie, and you were like this movie is awesome. I mean Keanu Reeves is like phenomenal. I remember distinctly asking you about this movie, and then you were like you were praising how good this movie was. And I'm like, what is a scene where the shootout is? And you were like, yeah, the shootout was amazing. You know, he's going after Nico's son, and he's just like, bum, 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 bum. and I'm like, I'm like, word. You're like, yeah. And then you know, I'm like, and you were like, just so you were like, this is the kind of this is the kind of conversation like where it's like if someone was telling you, this is a movie to go see. The way you were selling it to me initially, I'm like, no, it can't be that good. And it's like, no, the movie is that good. And so I was, I was, 
I mean, I wish I saw this because I never had time to go see this. So this is one of the few films that this is why I go to Evie. Ask Evie because he knows what he's talking about. Because you look at this movie and you're like, it's slow, but then it's a slow burn. And again, burn wick. I, I, I realize what I'm saying. But like, it's, it's such a slow burn that it really pays dividends when you get to the climax of this movie. The musical score helps build that climax up. The narration of how, who, who he is, where he came from, what he's capable of doing. And you never see it. Like the thing with the three pencils, it's brought up here. Sorry, the pencil, killing with a pencil. It's actually brought up from this movie. You would never see this act. You know, the things, what he, this impossible mission he did, you never see it. They don't flash back to it. You don't know the character. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the mission was. So they bring up all of this stuff, which gets played out in the quadrilogy or four films that's, 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 or five films that will come before it or after it. Um, but it lays the groundwork. Kind of like Back to the Future, the first one lays the groundwork for the trilogy. Like it, it gives you all these little solid nuggets and really explores that those nuggets in the future. This movie does it much better than Back to the Future. I think the first Back to the Future is gold. Second and third, third one more better. Second one, it kind of they don't they weren't they didn't plan it out. The second one is just this second the sequel was just phenomenal. The third one killed people killed you in ways you never saw possible, like with a horse. You know, mm -hmm. like there's some things that you just didn't you just not see coming and it surprised you and it topped itself. But, um, you know, it was produced by Eva Longoria. I mean, she's who's gone on to do like a lot of uh, producing a lot of shows now, and TV movies. So this was like the this is the bedlam of like really great talent, both in the directors, the people behind the scenes, the creative team that puts it together. So I was floored by this. I was so um, it's humble beginnings. But now I see where it's coming from, like seeing it now and understanding where it's coming from. It's like. I appre I guess seeing it from the seeing 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 the sequels first, and then seeing this one, I kind of wish I saw the beginning first to really appreciate it. But in but in retrospect too, I'm kind of happy I saw the sequels because now I know where it's going. How about you? Oh uh, yeah, I really liked it. I thought it was uh, yeah, lots of violence. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I thought it would be not great because of people in it but it, it was good i definitely um, um cool yeah okay awesome. uh so i guess i'm all out and we're going to call this a day and oh we'll be back this time next month i believe it is uh with another kind of john wickian type of movie and that's gonna be the equalizer with denzel washington mm -hmm. so awesome. with that uh we'll talk to you next week and with, mm -hmm. on, a, on the, the john wick train as we get ready for number four review, uh, we'll talk to you next time. Take care. Take care.